Hello, you lovely, beautiful people. How are you guys doing today? Cheers. Got my uh, Japanese style drip coffee. Loving it. Mmm. This is so good. We've got the AeroPress, but Mickey pulled this out from the storage probably about a month ago. I haven't really shared it. Pretty cool. You put the filter in. Coffee, hot water, drips. Delicious. And that's the process of that. I was going to start vlogging a little bit later in the day, but something happened and I have found myself procrastinating. As per usual, I've got a lot of jobs to do today. We have the lovely Mika's mother, Mika's mama. She's coming over to, to stay with us for a few days, about four nights. Going to stop in the tiny house. Should be a lot of fun. But my, my good friend, Mrs. Jeremy Hancock, I was sort of on my... Uh, on my vlogs and I was I like to reply to messages thank you guys for all your awesome comments and messages thank you I've replied to everyone I really like reading and replying anyway and I found myself on his YouTube channel he mentioned that he started vlogging back in like 2009 doing little daily videos not daily videos just the odd little video here and there and we toured together for just over two years and I found myself on this channel and you know what, I've not, I've seen quite a lot of his stuff, your stuff, Jeremy, when we were on tour, but I've never, I've not actually dove so deep into like, the beginnings of your, your video. So I highly recommend you go check his channel out. He doesn't put any videos out at the moment, but there's some just so amazing, funny content. This one called Border Work, mate, it's like a piece of art. So, so funny. And just little um, little raw bits of footage that he shot on his on his GoPro, the GoPro Hero One. I remember when that came out; that was just like a revolution. It was amazing. Anyway, he shot all this footage on the GoPro, completely raw, pretty much unedited, no choppy, no 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 video, um, no music. And you know, I, it gave me an idea. I want to. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but. And you can see I have like hard drives upon hard drives, even more at home, all backed up and backed up of just endless amounts of footage. I think I mentioned this before, from all my travels, I used to shoot on the GoPro and I was addicted. I still do it now, but I edit daily, so I make these videos, so it, it becomes like this complete package, which feels so good, which is one of the, one of the reasons why I actually started vlogging. But so what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm come up, come up with some sort of playlist or some sort of idea as and when to release these things. But I'm going to release, I'll put one, I'll release this vlog today and along with it, if I've done it, I'll pop the link here. Go follow this and have no idea what it's going to be, but it's going to be some sort of raw, unedited bit of footage shot from somewhere I went in the world on the dinosaur tour, whatever, who knows? Go check it out, hopefully it's good. Is it good? I have no idea, I'll pick something fun and exciting. And then we'll see how we go. Let me know how you feel about this video in the comments over there. It should be good, I like, I've got so much footage and they're not really vlogging footage, so there's no like, there's no narrative, there's no dialogue, there's no storytelling. So I just didn't, I was so uncomfortable talking to the camera then. Anyway, go check that out, let me know what you think. And I'm gonna finish off my delicious drip coffee and proceed with today's today's events I'm gonna sand these bad boys down clean up a little bit and yeah it's beautiful out would you look at that so I just got done with sanding my shelves down and I've just put some Danish oil on the first shelf and I'm just so impressed with the way that's turned out. It's just beautiful. This is the this is oh this is the original colour. And then this is the colour with the Danish on. I love it. So the shells are nice and smooth. And I say the Danish, this is what it is, just some Danish oil. Adds a nice bit of protection like for spillage and that sort of stuff, but also has a lovely coat to the wood. Let's 
gonna leave those guys to dry and it's pretty hot out so I'm gonna do this job that I've been meaning to get round to doing for like two weeks now and yesterday we decided on a color and we bought all the paint we needed and we're gonna I'm going to do it now it's a bit hot to be outside so let's go and paint the kitchen units yeah this is what I'm going to tackle first just to my side here those are the other cabinets I think I'll do those another day but I think I need to prepare it a little bit better I was just going to paint it all as it is here but I think it would be best if I take off all the doors and the hinges and do it outside in the shade at least it's not smelling all toxic and weird and stuff so yeah let's let's do that. preparation is key with all these for me that is one of the most difficult things about this renovation diy any diy job at like measuring measuring stuff a thousand times make sure you're getting the right materials don't take shortcuts with my short attention span lessons being learned every time I like skip a process or I don't need that tool or don't need this it just ends in tears so it's good to do a good job prepare first make sure you get everything some DIY tips from Neil <laughs> be honest with you that was quite the exhausting job but it looks so good what a difference we'll tackle that one at a later date you see all this stuff here this is going to get replaced we've got some awesome plans to replace that with something awesome it's going to match the ceiling but I'm pretty happy with the way that has turned out it took a few coats because this is like really really thick and slippy but pretty happy what is up guys it's almost midnight apologies for not doing any more vlogging up until this point we had Mika's mama has arrived to see her for a few days really good banter showing around the house coming up with nice ideas as to what we can and can't do with the reno renovations what plants we have turns out we've got like a botanical garden sat out in the front there with some incredible plants and need a lot of pruning and looking after but i've just edited i'm behind again unfortunately i've just edited the the video the running video and i um i called it uh, what is a grown-up and i really wanted to just sort of expand on that and i thought this is a good opportunity to do it in this vlog and mention this tattoo so this tattoo you know when i first started getting tattoos when i got my first one ages ago when i was at 90 and i always said i always took the mickey out of people getting tattoos in different languages because um, you just don't know what you were getting anyway long story short i found myself in thailand and i'd been recommended this book called into the wild and i was sort of i wasn't sure what or where to go with my life at that time. I'd been going to summer camp back and forth and always being told that you, you go away and you come back to square one. And that square one always just felt, just, just, just felt empty. You know, I come back and it's like, oh, so I just had this most, these most incredible experiences, having adventures, meeting loads of new people. And then I get told that I'm back to square one. Like, what, what do you do with that? Well, anyway, you know, I, I tried to grow up and look for a good full-time job and do the right thing that society tells you to do, you know, conform to these rules and be that grown-up. Anyway, I go to Thailand and get recommended this book. I'm over there reading this book and there's this one quote, there's this one portion of the book 
and the whole book's incredible. I, I highly recommend you go read the book. I don't mean read many books, but when I do read books, it's usually inspirational, motivational, adventure stories, real life stuff like this. And yeah, there's this, there's this portion of the book that has endlessly changing horizons, or in Thai, it translates to um, always changing your horizon, similar thing. I was in the moment, I had this epiphany, light bulb, just, just things just happened. It was a huge change in my life, it was ridiculous. I realized that I, I, you don't need to get a normal job, you don't need to get a nine to five, you don't need to get a mortgage, you don't need to get a finance car, like those stuff, are, that stuff's bad. Like Anyway, I learned my lessons. Anyway, so I just wanted to share with you this this little insert that was that was written by him in his book. So I'm just gonna pop you pop you here just because it's on the TV, it's on my monitor, just for effect. Let's zoom in a little bit and see if I can read this read this correctly. I mean it's in English, we should be alright. So many people live with unhappy circumstances and yet will not take the initiative to change their situation because they are conditioned to a life of security and conformity. All of which may appear to give one peace of mind, but in reality nothing is more damaging to the adventurous spirit of a man than a secure future. The very basic core of a man's living spirit is his passion for adventure. The joy of life comes from our encounters with new experiences and hence there is no greater joy than to have an endlessly changing horizon for each day to have a new and different sun. Now I hope I read that okay and you understand me, understood me clearly. I, I'll just go check it out. I'll put it in the, the comments below, the description below, have a little read. And I just want to share that with you. Just, just that one little book that book that was recommended to me by this guy in America. I just come back from summer camp. He was like, "You really like this book?" Because he could see that I was, you know, I was so happy being at summer camp again and doing my parkour. And but then I was going back to England and going back to that square one, which I do not believe in anymore. There's no, it, that square one. I was about to swear then. <laughs> that square one crap. Just does make makes no sense because I was going away and every time I went away I would grow as a person I'd become more I'd just become a better happier more positive fun and loving person so I wasn't coming back to square one with nothing what they were what people were referring to was I was coming back to no job no security that's brilliant, that's brilliant. Not conforming to what society wants you to believe in that you need. Anyway, that is that's my that's my little two cents for you, a little pinch of salt. I hope that can help. Maybe I know plant some good seeds because you know I didn't know. I just, I just thought that you had to go out and get one of those jobs and do that stuff. Anyway, it's pretty late. I'd like to expand on this more. Maybe we could do more little vlogs like this. Let you know how I got into this mindset, you know, how you know I do find I do I I would class myself as quite a happy person. You know, I do have my stresses, I do these daily vlogs, but at the same time I have uh, you know I've not inherited loads of money. I'm not like a millionaire, you know, I don't play the lot, I don't, I've not won money, you know, unfortunately we need money, moolah, to do the things we love and just to, to live, you know, so I do have stresses of when, the, and I've got some work winning, but anyway, different story for a different time. Guys, hope you enjoyed that, something a bit different, other than the painting, which is dried, we're all good. <sighs> I'm gonna go to bed now, uploading my video. It's nice, nice to talk about. I might have to read that book again. Blabbering, off on one. Endlessly, endlessly changing horizons for each day to have a new and different sun. Mm-mm, just let that marinate for you. Just good, just good knowledge. God, that guy was a genius. 
Guys, live, laugh and love. Have a new and different sun. Keep on chasing those different suns. Different horizons. Keep them endlessly changing. It doesn't come off. I don't want it to come off. Guys, live, laugh and love. Take it easy. I'm so tired. Peace.